when he does die, you go, oh, I can't believe he never had a hoagie. I, I can't believe he died in prison. He's in heaven and he spent... Hoagies in heaven. Hoagies in heaven. <laughs> hoagies in heaven. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, everybody. I am your host, Spencer Cardia. I am Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. And this here is Frank and the Frog. Frank and the Frog. Sounds like a different show. <laughs> um, looking good today. Got a little quarter zip polo. Oh. Okay, okay Frank. Got the Ray Ban. Is he stunting on us? Well, he's very patriotic and he's ready for the uh, holiday weekend. Yeah, he gets ready early. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's not Memorial Day weekend yet, but it is Thirsty Thursday. And <laughs> that's Frank's favorite weekly holiday. Yeah. And this Thirsty Thursday is Memorial Day themed, I'm guessing. He makes like the long weekend longer. <laughs> yeah. He's like three days isn't going to cut it. I'm going to shoot for five. But we love him anyway. Anyhow, middle of the week. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is there a middle to seven? To our week. I was to saying. our week. Yeah, oh, to yeah. the podcast week. Middle of the yes. podcast week. Still, it's four. Wednesday's behind us. Oh, well, I, I consider season. the meme review to have a life of its own. So the meme review is weekend and the podcast is week, a three day week and a one day weekend. Yeah. This is a lot of math. It's a, it's a math podcast. In case you didn't know, Crow and Crow started as a math podcast, and we slowly transitioned into a spiritual podcast. We were podcast. asked to. We were asked to transition once, <laughs> once they realized we didn't know how to do math. But um, yeah, anything else new? Is there a special holiday today? or um, May 28th? May 20, 28th? I can't remember. Oh, the um eclipse. The eclipse. Had happened. Had happened. Or yeah right like it happened this morning it happened yeah last night yeah oh last night yeah okay yeah because i'm like what's happening is some kind of yesterday we talked about it and we said when's it happening turns out it was happening yeah that some night, kind of huge last night moon i don't every month it seems like it's a huge but every month there's a moon out there no uh, i'm like it's some kind of special moon and it was some kind of special eclipse but yeah. i don't think you could see where we lived and even if you can't see the eclipse it's a full moon Ooh. Full you could moon. pretend it was an eclipse every time. You couldn't see the moon. Oh. Like look at the wrong part of the sky and say it's a full lunar eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that's that. Let me think. Um, last Thursday in May. Last Thursday in May. And um, <clears throat> the next month it will be June. Ooh. That's exciting. Yeah. It was a little, it was a little chilly today. Yeah. Oh, you know what's bummer? Oh, I do have something to talk about. You guys didn't think I had anything to talk about. I've been getting so excited for Memorial Day. Okay. Yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. I've been, I don't know, running around saying, Yahoo. Mm-hmm. I haven't had a summer in two years. This is what I've been yeah, saying. Yeah, because normally it's exciting because the winter's over. Yeah. But this year is exciting because. COVID's over. Well. Because I'm vaccinated. Uh, yeah. Because, you, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just way different than 2020. Yeah, CDC gave the the green light on no masks. If you're America, yeah, in America. Sorry, Canada and some other places. Yeah, last mm-hmm. summer, you know, I was a responsible citizen. I didn't Oof. go out, so it's like this summer, full effect. I'm like, what does it put the train full ahead? Is that how you say? Pedal to the metal, uh, Pe- full throttle. Full I don't throttle. know all those things. All those things, and I'm getting ready. I'm working on my fitness and I'm at the gym. This is how I found out. So I was supposed to go down the beach, two beach days on the weekend, a whole barbecue, whole plan for Memorial Day weekend, like the most classic, you know, beach and barbecue. Right. And I'm at the gym with the two guys who I'm going with and the ones like says to the other, it's like. Yeah, it's a real bummer too. I really wanted to go to the beach this weekend, and I'm there like blink, blink. Like, you, you said wanted. Like, what would you get called into work or something? Yeah, where's the memo that I'm not on? Yeah, and he was like, "No, you didn't check the weather." And I'm like, "What weather? Weather? 
What's weather? What's we- what's weather? <laughs> it's a holiday. Weather is not weather doesn't right. apply on holidays. Check the weather. It's sixty and raining, but Friday and Saturday. Sunday it's Aww. in the sixties. And why I don't know where you guys live, why it's so frustrating is because we've been having a little heat front I know. for the past I know. two weeks where any given day was about, I was at the beach. You know, I should have known. There was some foreshadowing. I was in um a you know pharmacy and and the man said how is it out there and i said it's hot and he said yeah uh, something i could tell and 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 i said it's arrived meaning like the hot weather Uh, and he said what he said he said it won't stay this way Mm. and i was thinking like it won't even though i've lived here my whole life (laughs) yeah i forgot that we kind of do this yeah no there's a graph uh i hope i can find and post editing but i probably won't where it's like pennsylvania weather and there's like a million different oh, yeah. things. It's like first spring, second spring, last winter, <laughs> fall, summer. Right. Um, uh, whatever. True summer. And then like it says you are here. But yeah, so. Mm. But that's okay. You know what? I'm not going to let that get me down. Nah. Because. But what I do think before I get all like, it doesn't matter. It's all good. I think weather should wait for holidays. I think it's messed up. Like. When it you, rains, you want a white Christmas? Yeah, I want a white Christmas. I don't want it to rain on Halloween. Oh. I, uh, you know, fourth rain cold is bad enough, but raining on Halloween is like yeah. so rude. Fourth of July, Memorial Day weekend, I think it should never rain. And I don't know. I'm just saying, I think we have the power to control weather. Well, we do. So why don't we? The government. Just for the holidays. It costs a lot of money. You know what else costs a lot of money? Probably when it bar- rains on Memorial. <laughs> Your barbecue uh, stuff you bought. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, I always, I, I proposed a dome. If there could, if there could be domes like in over. the Simpsons? I think it's, I want very bad. Listen, it could, it, I think you told me this before when I, when I asked you. Not so much down to the ground. Like more like a gazebo type situation. Domes. Domes over different places so that you could be protected from... Uh, like a lot of the snow or a lot of the rain you know what i mean i think that's really bad for the ecosystem why there it, you could the air will go underneath yeah, but you need it to rain and stuff otherwise things will die it won't be over the whole it'll be over so that'll be like that'll be you know desert park or whatever yeah i guess so but okay i think with our best minds on it <laughs> <laughs> we need your best minds to figure out a dome situation or why don't you just have fun in the rain? Because I did like I did like down the boardwalk in the rain. <gasps> My hat. Oh God, your spiritual your spirituality's getting out. <laughs> That's right. You have to cut that out. <laughs> no, I'm not cutting that. Um, you have to. No, now Papa people, Smurf. Now people know you have hair. Papa, um, about, you're obsessed with this. If they follow me on Instagram, you can see I have hair. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with people who don't. No, I don't have hair. I have too much hair. That's why I'm trying to control it. Yeah. Oh, it's like those. Uh, <laughs> Those what, what religion is that where they wrap it up like they don't cut it? Oh, Sikh. Yeah, Sikh, and they they have a lot of hair, nice hair. Yeah, so I love the beach off season. I, I love to, shore I, towns off season. I do too, the, but the I, kind I'm of kind of a I'm a classic man. You can meet me when you look this clean. And I lived in the Caribbean. Man. I don't know if I've mentioned that. You know, there's these kids who like they went to France for uh, one semester and they won't stop saying they're in France. Yeah, like, I was in. I was in the Caribbean for two years. I act like I, you know, spent a large time there. But I had to learn to have a hot Christmas where my mm. candy canes were melting off my Christmas tree because I didn't have air conditioning. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to learn. Well, no, I'm, I, I know I get that. And like, on, if I was saying I was going on Thursday and I'm missing it, I'd be fine. But something about more like it was, it, it's that holiday in specific mm-hmm. is the, like the unofficial start of the summer. Well, it's an official start of like the beach summer, like everywhere opens. Yeah. And so, like, I, I, I was just. I know. I you had just, your hopes up. Yeah. But you know what? That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. But that's enough talking about that jibber jabber because we have more important things to talk about. And that's the fact that it is walk through. Did I introduce that right? That's the fact that today is Thursday, which means only one thing it's walk through. Thursday. Yes. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. 
All right, guys, it is walkthrough Thursday. You know the vibes. Today is the day that we open the Bible. We find a verse and we go through it. We go through it word by word, sentence by sentence, line by line. My eyes are tearing up. It could be allergies. It could be the fact that I'm talking about something that's so beautiful. It could be. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Anyhow, it's my favorite. Right. So we tease. Favorite day of the week. <laughs> I want you to have a moment for yeah. your for your eyes. Here. Tissue. Tissue. Um, I barely know you. Um, yesterday, I teased that the walk through Thursday would have something to do with Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Ever heard of it? <laughs> and um, it does. So <laughs> in Philadelphia, there is a Liberty Bell. There is a Liberty Bell. And the Liberty Bell. We had a Bells podcast. Check that out. We had a Bells podcast. I brought bells, different kinds of bells, jingle bells, um, that I thought I would jingle, but I forgot. So there's a Liberty Bell. The bell was made somewhere. It was rang somewhere. It was cracked somewhere. It is now stored in Independence Hall in Philadelphia and um, blah, blah, blah. But you know the story. It's, imp- it's an important bell. On this bell, there's a Bible verse. So I said, let that be our Bible verse. Mm. For this walk through Thursday, since we um, represent Philadelphia and so on and so forth, um, the Bible verse, are you interested? Did you know? I had no idea. Mm. I, I was actually a little surprised. It's one of those things where I'm prob- I'm sure You're that wrong. I learned it, I forgot it. I learned uh. it, I forgot it. I learned it, I forgot it. So... Right now, we're telling you something that you most likely will forget. <laughs> <That's just kidding. laughs> so, there's something called Leviticus 25. Yeah, Old Testament. Yeah, Leviticus 25, Old Testament. Um, a lot of, uh, I believe Levit- Leviticus is full of rules and yeah. stuff, so, yeah. such. So, this is um, a verse 25. It goes all the way to uh, 38. So, um, it's 38 sentences or verses in 25. Okay. Okay. One of the verses is verse 10. Leviticus right. twenty five ten, and that's what's on the Liberty Bell. Leviticus twenty five ten, A piece of it is on the oh. Liberty Bell. Is it just in God we trust? No, no, no. It's um, proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. You know what that sounds like? What? It sounds like back in 1776, um, they probably went on Bible Gateway. <laughs> and just typed in liberty liberty right and saw what popped up but like that's obviously what they did we'll get into they it didn't have bible gateway yeah so, then, so so i wonder what they did because they were like oh let's get a bible verse on it it's a liberty bell let's find the words liberty did spencer they... don't you think it went the other way oh like the bible was made for the liberty bell the bible was made probably before the liberty bell yes <laughs> yeah, no that's that's all no i'm saying just like any movie or book you write your movie or your book or you do whatever and then you go, what should we call this shirt? And then it's like, then you figure out what. Yes, they they made the bell. They they, they put the verse on the bell and then they're like, no, we should call this bell no, the Liberty Bell because we wrote Liberty no. on it. No. I, I think so. The Statue of Liberty. It was like, the it was a sort of. The well, idea all of America was talking about freedom and liberty because that's exactly the- so. It was a liberty bell to represent the freedom of America, and then they went to the Bible, just like we go to Bible Gateway on walk through on One Word Wednesday, and they said, "Oh, there's a verse about liberty. Let's put that in." I stand by that absolutely. Yeah, you know what? I don't. Lady you know, Liberty. You keep going back to the Statue of Liberty. Oh, well, it's a big one. It's an important one. She must have been white after the Liberty Bell. Um, we don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. All right. Okay. Well, I'm saying it's interesting. They were doing what we were doing. No, you're then. you're right. Now that I think about it, now what came first? The what the, came first? The, the Liberty or the Bell? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Bible. Did they pick the Bible verse and then name the Liberty Bell, or did they name the Liberty Bell and then pick the Liberty <laughs> Bible verse? I choose the latter. Okay, sorry, I completely didn't. <laughs> Really no, that's fine. So it's quote? Leviticus twenty-five, right? And okay. so this whole, um, this whole chapter of Leviticus is talking about the Sabbath year, the Jubilee year. 
slash. This is all meaning the a same jubilee. thing. A jubilee. That means something, doesn't it? it? It might mean 50 because it, it keeps talking about 50 in here. Okay. But when I say it means 50, I think it's the jubilee anniversary is like 50 of something. But jubilee itself means happiness, right? It's a no, jubilee. That's, that's what I was asking. Yeah, yeah. It's a was. jubilee. It's, an, it's a party. But again, what came first? Mm, it meaning an anniversary or it? So this whole um, chapter talks about what to do on the jubilee year. Um, to celebrate this, um, I don't know, passage of time or how well you've been doing or the blessings of God that you've had over that period. Um, and it's interesting because it talks about freedom. And so the Sabbath created for people, work six days rest on one. You must. This is actually saying to rest the land on um is it six? Yeah, I think it might be seven as well. Uh, and you know, from farming. So you don't always want to work the land, work yeah. the land, work the land. You'll, you know, you'll, you'll work the heaven out of it. <laughs> they work nice the one. Okay. Um, so it's, it's talking about free your servants and free the, let everybody take a rest and take a break and take a breather. And then we'll start over and we'll start over fresh. So number 10. Um, says consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants it shall be a jubilee for you each of you is to return to your family property and to your own clan and um so when you if you look it up it's going to say that it's talking about freeing the slaves yeah who were working the land okay you've worked all this time and now you all get to go back um mm -hmm. to whence you came the liberty bell has it on there um we were trying to free ourselves from England. Yeah. And when Abraham Lincoln died, um, he was actually laid in state, you know, when the body is laid like out uh, for people okay. to see yeah. in Independence Hall Ew. under the Liberty Bell with that freight with, with that was visible that oh, Bible verse because Abraham the, Lincoln freeing of these it was so important. So anyway, I promised a Bible verse that had something to do with Philadelphia. Nothing's more Philadelphia than the Liberty Bell. So that is the verse. See, see, they just uh, attempted the world's largest cheesesteak. I saw that. Someone was celebrating something, their jubilee of something, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Really look, I saw headlines for it. And um, so, and they kept saying attempting, attempting. I'm like, well, the, did they do it? Oh. And then my other question was this. So, first of all. Yeah. Oh, I saw this one thing that was like, um, that was like CDC OA guidelines <laughs> uh, open up. And then it's like Philadelphia a week later. <laughs> it's a tenth of the world's longest cheesesteak. Everyone shares a sandwich. Yeah. So my question is, is the bread. Yeah. Like, that's my biggest. Is it just roll next to roll next to roll next to roll? Oh. You can't have a single roll. Yeah, you're right. How would that be possible? Yeah, it would have to be. What I'm guessing is not like tiny. It wasn't shorties. It was like, you two know. Two feet by two feet. Yeah. You get those. And then, and then once you put them together and you put the meat across. Yeah. Like you open them up. Then it looks like it's all one big one. Right. And, and the cheese can connect it too. And also, when obviously it's you do it in like a big party setting, and so you want to all eat afterwards. Did if you it, say what a cheesesteak was to the people? You know what? Everyone knows what a cheesesteak is. You don't know. All well, across the world, they call it a Philly cheesesteak. I know, but the, when you really think about it, a cheesesteak sounds like you have steak with cheese on it. But in fact, this is a sandwich with chopped beef, and you, you could or could not have cheese. A lot of people get, uh, they just want a steak sandwich, they don't want cheese on it. I wouldn't say a lot of people, but there's a few. And yeah, you get cheese. You can choose your cheese. You can get fried onions. Or raw. Or raw onions. Or anything, really, once you keep... Or anything. You know, yeah. What, not if, anything. If somebody, not jelly beans. If somebody tells you um, that, oh, you can't get this on a cheesesteak, you can't get that on a cheesesteak, guess what? They're a poser. Because I used to work That's in a right. cheesesteak shop, and always, the I would say... The tourists, mm -hmm. like uh, when I say tourists, I'm like, the people are like, oh, a cheesesteak. Right. They would say, I'll get just a, a, a purist. Yeah, I want to do what the locals do. With with whiz and onion. Right. But then like an old an old construction worker with a strong Philly yes. accent. Yes. He's getting like, um, give me provolone cheese with... Hot peppers, right. sweet peppers. Let me tell you something. Jalapenos. Um, as a lifelong, care. as a lifelong, um, and ancestral Philadelphian, and to prove to you how Philadelphian <laughs> I am, I'm not going to prove to you how Philadelphian I am. 
How about that? I'm going to show you how great I am. Let me normalize that. I, I, I'm going to say that a true Philadelphian doesn't do this. Oh, where do you live? What's your Actually. address? Okay. I don't care. Yeah. But let me tell you. So you're a true steak, Christian. <clears throat> that's right. The cheesesteak is not made by, oh, you got whiz, you got American, you got fried onions. No. It's the roll mm -hmm. and the meat. Yeah. If you have, and I've had cheese steaks in different parts of the country and the world, um, if you have the wrong meat or the wrong roll, you uh, you have a different over. sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> it came over different sandwich. <clears throat> the cheese steak is, is that's it. One once you do that, and then you put on lettuce, mayo, mm. Tabasco, whatever you want to do, you still have a cheese steak. You still have a Philadelphia cheese steak. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that you said it's a different sandwich because the same thing applies to hoagies. So hoagies, for those of you, I guess we're talking to people who don't know anything, is a sandwich in Philadelphia on a roll, you know, meat, cheese, and lettuce. But we call it a hoagie. But I'm here to say a hoagie is not a sandwich. A hoagie is not a sub. Because mm. when you go other places... A grinder. Like, I remember <laughs> when I went to Colorado... And I got a roll with the meat and the and the lettuce and the, and the cheese, and it was like it, it. The proportions were off. Yeah. The order they put the meat, the, the 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 stuff was off. Right. And I'm like, and it's like, oh, we call this a sub. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna call this a sub too, because mm -hmm. you know why? This is not a hoagie. Right. Like it's actually Subway. It's like more of that style too. It's like right. More of that like soft bread, like white bread, and it's right. like a few slices of meat. Where hoagie, you get that. Thick boy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was thinking of Bill Cosby. Philadelphian. Uh, Philadelphian, who's in jail. And um, I had someone had made a post that said that, oh, he's so old, let him out. It's so sad. Da, 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 da. Anyway, this is an odd thought. You're just saying hoagies. It just put me in mind on his show, on the Cosby show, it would always be, he'd always be trying to get a hoagie, mm -hmm. hoagie, hoagie. And then his TV wife would always be like, so much sodium, it's so bad for you, you can't have it. And he would always sneak them and stuff like this. And I was like, I wonder if Bill Cosby misses hoagies. Mm. A sad thought. Not I mean, like <laughs> I'm not defending anything he did, but right. any just the fact that and just one can more have side, a one more side about Bill Cosby. I think every prisoner should get hoagies. Yeah, at least like once a month or something. Especially if you're Philadelphian, though. I mean, imagine. Yeah. Um, Bill Cosby. Just to let, again, people are writing posts now because when, he, when it comes to mind, it's like, oh boy. And then he's being punished for something he did when he was a younger man, da, da, da. But anyway, um, and that's neither here nor there of what I'm talking about right now. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking, you know, because you said that's a depressing thought. I was thinking, um, you know, not that, I, and I, I, I I don't even know if I should be went down here, but <laughs> I was just thinking that, in a hole here. that it is sad that that um anybody makes mistakes on earth but 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 maybe it's not maybe maybe um paying off your debt on earth like people are like oh it's so sad for him let him come out he's mm. in, he's in poor health right he but he is going to die as we all are as but, we all do. but he's going to heaven so therefore the fact that he is penitent now and and you know what i'm saying like working yeah. now working off this um, regret or you know this mistake that he made uh, mm -hmm. will be good for him in heaven. Yeah, and it's it's it, it's not ga game over when he does die. You go, oh, I can't believe he never had a hoagie. I, I can't believe he died in prison. He's in heaven, and he spent hoagies in heaven. Hoagies in heaven. <laughs> hoagies in heaven. Okay, go ahead. That's yeah. That. Wait, no, I was like, well, I mean, yeah, you do see it just a lot with like people who go to prison and they find faith and stuff, and. In a way, is it, yeah, do you, do some people get caught up in the earthly and it's almost like that is their way to put away the earth. And yeah, if you think of a life sentence, you can get pretty depressed and say, right. wow, that person's behind bars for life. But if you think this of, life. if you think of eternal life, then it right. doesn't seem that long. Anyhow, uh, are we going to walk through this verse? <laughs> Listen, it's such a short little verse. It's a short little verse. So, um, it's for freedom. And so what, yeah. what do you want to make out of it just for our everyday life? Proclaim And liberty. not something so large as a jubilee, as um, 
as that type of everyone you know you're free from your bondage you're going back to your lands like is there something in an everyday freedom liberty which our our little niece's name is liberty um consecrate your 50th year and proclaim liberty through all its land like i don't think it has to be just to say in my interpretation in a lot of interpretations of um the Bible. I don't think it has to be 50th year to me. No, and I'm not going to make it 50th year. Okay. What I'm going to say about it is this. Is I think the Bible did a nice thing here where they put a, you know when we say like stop and smell the roses? They put a stopping point where you just, you sit back. Yes. You rest. And yes. you're, it's not just like, because when you talk about the Sabbath, you talk about rest. You say do nothing. Right. Like, uh, what's it called? Just be in prayer and meditation. This isn't talking about that. This is in the 50th year you've grinded. And now it's have a celebration, have a, a jubilee, proclaim liberty, freedom. Right. And I, I, I feel like... Yeah, and I, just one second. Li- proclaim liberty. Because if we say the Sabbath is rest. Yeah. This is like Sabbath is party, yeah. you know, yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully it's not raining. <laughs> um. Yeah, and so I think in a in a life where we can take it real serious, you know, with with, with actual stuff, yeah, and with you know spiritual stuff even. At, at a certain point, you need to give yourself that celebration, that jubilee. Yes, um, that's the way I take it. You know, otherwise, what you're just gonna be on the hamster wheel until the day you depart this earth, right? So it's important. I was just trying to see. Yeah, seven, seven times seven. So remember the other day we're okay. The reason I'm, you're talking, I'm looking, and this is saying um, right before. So it's it's eight. So set Levit- Leviticus twenty five eight, and we're, we're working on ten. But I just saw that it says it's just talking about getting to forty nine, and it's like count off seven Sabbath years, seven times seven years, so that the seventh Sabbath years amount to a period of forty nine years. And I was like, seven times 77, isn't that what you were trying to say the other day about? About how many times should you turn the other cheek? Right. And uh, I looked it up and it, um, yeah, it is. <laughs> Which just, that's why I don't think it's like, this is like so specific to this or that was so specific to that. For people who take the Bible specifically, mm. you know, yeah, it's like a, uh, the... a running theme of. Just Cycles make it, it's like it's almost like the numbers are just a metaphor right right for something bigger right at the same time i've said it before and i'll say it again i'm super interested in the people that spend their lives looking at numerology in the bible because just it. the fact that you said that like seven times seven on, on there's another seven and it's like yeah. there's a parallel to seven right. seventy seven and people study this and right. and, and they say the numbers mason what do they mean right because on other walk through thursdays we have found the Old Testament um, buried in the New Testament verse. Yeah. So when in the New Testament, what we're referring to, apostles asked Jesus how many times Jesus said, turn the other cheek, forgive people. And the apostle said, well, how many times do I need to do that? Like, yeah. until I know the person. And he said seven times 77 continuously. So you think, oh, okay, he wants us to forgive people all the time. But was he referring us back to an Old Testament Um Old Testament verse, and if so, so if we go back to that, then um, it's saying a Day of Atonement, actually, which is a Jewish um, is it the, the Day of Atonement. I is I don't know Rosh Hashanah or Ram Kippur, Yom Kippur or something is the Day of Atonement. Mm-hmm. They celebrate that all the time. But yeah, so the old the, the New Testament sending you back to the Old Testament to remind you because as New Testament Christians, I think people I think Christians are just New Testament. I think that's um. Well, well, there's Jews for Jesus, so with. there must be Christians for the Old Testament. Um, I'm a Christian for the Old Testament and the New One. Um, now you made me come off track. What was I saying? They would send Christians back to the Old Testament. Oh, I know. Because the Bible's like really long and like really tedious to get through. So, so you're, you're, you read it like a choose your own adventure like we talked about in a well, previous podcast. if you want to choose, choose the New Testament because it's very small and very easy, right? Well, what uh, I'm saying, what, uh, no, no, I'm saying some Christians, not me. <laughs> okay. I do the whole thing. 
But what I'm saying is, guess what? You can't get away from the Old Testament. You can't get away from it no matter how much you try. Because it's there, number one. Number two, the living word, the New Testament, revitalizes the Old Testament because there's always a running... Um, there's a bridge and it's and there's heavy traffic all the time, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, guys. Proclaim liberty throughout the land. Proclaim liberty throughout the land. To well, everyone. To everyone. That is walk through, through Thursday, Thursday, guys. Um, yeah. Liberty can be found everywhere, even in prison. Yes. Yeah. Right. We're gonna make sure to say that. Um. Anywho, tomorrow is Fun Friday. Of course it is, because um, it's Memorial Day, and it's um, not going to rain. The clouds shall blow away from Spencer's Beach. Uh, yeah, so we'll be here. Hopefully, Frank will be here. He might be somewhere partying. But anywho, until then, um, proclaim liberty throughout the land. You know, don't just don't work for 50 years without taking your jubilee. Or 50 days. Or 50 days. Or 50 hours. Or 50 minutes, even. Yeah. A little mini jubilee. How many minutes? 60 or an hour. An hour. Yeah. So 50 minutes of work, 10 minutes of jubilee. How about that? That is good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Peace.